ドッキングせよ
Good evening, everybody. It's time for live from the Platinum Games Osaka office. MC Kazutsukuma. And to her right, we have the man you all know, Platinum Games Chief Game Designer and Soul Cresta Creative Director Hideki Kamiya. With him is Soul Cresta's producer Takahito Washisaka. And we also were planning to have director Takamori Sato with us today, but he is concentrating on development full time. So we got the stuff down. <laughs> and the title of today's stream is Hideki Kama's Very Sorry Stream. First, we have some words from Mr. Kaya himself. The release date for Soul Cresta of December 9th. Working very hard to make that date, but very sorry, but that release date has become not possible. はい、え、ご報告。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。あり
but uh, there's some schedule issues, some quality issues that we want to focus on, make sure that everything is right. And we came to the tough decision of delaying the release. So we started working on SolarCrest. Uh, now, originally, we envisioned a simpler game. I think probably all of you out there are saying that the previous games like Green Crest and SolarCrest uh, or Zark Terracrest. Uh, this new game, a new entry in the series, came on the history. Wanted to, you know, make sure that it was on that level of quality for a modern game. And as we added and worked on this place, you know, it hurts us as well. We don't want to delay, but we need to make sure that these elements are high quality. Because we want to focus on making sure that SolarCrest is the game that we want it to be, the game that it should be. Again, very sorry, but we are asking for a bit more of your time and patience. Thank you very much. It's gotten a little, it's getting a little sad in here. We're seeing many kind comments in the chat. <laughs> a lot of apps. One comments from the chat. You know, maybe you should uh, wait a little bit to announce the release date. So it's not that, you know, when it comes to things like release dates, you know, we plan, we plan on, you know, getting in as much polish, quality as we can ahead of time. But sometimes things don't work out like plan. Of course, a lot of the stuff could sound like excuses, but we really do just want to make sure that the finished product is something that everyone can have fun with and that we can be proud of and that everyone can enjoy to the fullest. <laughs> so we do want to actually show some of these uh, additional elements, quality that we're working on. Don't only want to apologize and run. I want to try to make up for some of this by showing some of these new and additional elements that we're working on. And we're still working hard every day. And at Bit Summit, uh, back in the summer, we showed stage one. We've only showed stage one so far. Today we want to show some new stage that we haven't shown before. So we're going to show the second stage. And originally, uh, we planned to have director Takamori Sato play, but since he's hard at work, we're going to have one of our other young tigers, Fumito Shimaru. He's going to show off his skills on stage two. You're on us! It's launching from the Yanagarasu carrier. So every stage starts off with you launching from the carrier. And actually, so some of the stage on Hamster's stream that they do every Thursday here in Japan. It's probably the first time for non-Japanese audiences. And that carrier that you launch from is based on some of the original Mooncrest and Terracrest art. Of course, updated to be Mio.
So you can see that right now the Yamato is blasting these plasma missiles. This is the main weapon that you have when you have ship 2, the Tsukuyomi, in the lead. He's rocking some. This is the Delta formation. This is Kamiya's favorite formation. It's pretty easy to use, just make the reverse triangle. And in Terra Cresta is one of the formations that you could use when you had all three ships. So you can see Ishimaru is blazing through many different formations. You got the L, <laughs> seems fitting. We are actually uh, changing up and rebalancing some of the formations. So some of the stuff that you've seen in some of the older trailers, the formations have changed a little bit to make them easier to use. Like this one, the, uh, the vertical line formation. It used to just shoot crescent-shaped shots to the left and right. Now I've got this uh, kind of spinning. It's an adaptation of the cyclone formation from Terra Cresta. They say, yeah, uh, so when you have all three ships, if you get hit, that counts as uh, one ship getting destroyed. Right now, the ship is shielded. And this is actually the uh, mid boss of stage two. Mysterious black ship. This uh, looks somewhat similar to our heroes. Ishimaru's doing a good job. Oh, yeah, you see, he lost the ship. Oh, but he won. So you can see that when you're destroying the ships, these metals, these gold and silver metals, are coming out and being collected. And as you collect them, the soul gauge on the right fills up, it gives you power ups, summons formation ships. So the more damage you do, the faster the gauge builds up. And then the gauges on the left, those charge up with energy as you attack. So you need that energy to use the formation attacks. You get some score bonuses. Oh, this is a new formation too. This is spinning. <laughs> Purple laser. Now, <laughs> 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 oh, you got the drill. If you put the yellow ship, the Susano, in the second position, you can do a big charging drill. And this is the arcade mode, not the dramatic mode. We do have the story mode, the dramatic mode that we talked about before. This is just the arcade mode. Of course, uh, it's time for the boss. This is the Chubo Carrier evolved version. Mm -hmm. 
the, ver the uh, formations have all been balanced, rebalanced to be easier to use, more useful. It's not an option that was found in the ships. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> I believe dramatic mode is getting English voice. I have to double check on that. I translated it, but I did not voice it. It's probably better for everybody. The reading the chat, notice that one of you played Terra Cresta. So yeah, please try Moon Cresta, Terra Cresta. Get studied up on the history. And that initial launch sequence is kind of uh, an homage to Moon Cresta. Mm. Of course, you can start off with Soul Cresta and then look back at the history of the series. <laughs> Yeah. Check out all of the various hamster titles on the arcade archives. Mm. Of course, because this is a shooting game, you know, rules are very simple. Mm. We have those old games like Moon Crest and Terra Crest. Yeah. See how far you can get on one coin. Back in the arcade days when it was score time. You put your name in. Mm. Oh, she got to go to the cool <laughs> Tokyo Mikado arcade. Mm. Actually, still haven't been here. Still a lot of nice arcades, famous from back in the day. Lock formation. When you collect the formation chips, that unlocks the formations that you can use. And when you get all five of the basic ones, mm. then there's a six formation. Which was the Phoenix. Something about the music. So each stage, I'm not sure if you noticed, but each stage has its own unique music. So is that all for today? Oh, no. Hang on. He's got something else to show. <laughs> oh, something else. So we've got caravan mode. You might be familiar with this if you played the arcade archives. This is a five minute score attack mode. Five minute time limit score attack mode. And we're adding that to Soul Crystal as well. 
So again, Fumito Ishimaru, another young tiger. He's going to favor us with some caravan mode play. This is on Neptune. This is stage one again. <laughs> so you can see there's the timer in the top right. Count down. <laughs> Saying this is an essential mode for these kind of vertical shooters. But we haven't said anything about this group. That's all I can say right now. So one thing about Soul Crest though, when you split the ships apart to make the new formations, the action slows down, but in caravan mode, the timer keeps going like it's slow. And you can use the split not only to reform your ships, but also to evade attacks, which is a very important technique. So I, I'm afraid to admit I actually don't know much about Get a Robo, but considering everyone's age group here, <laughs> there is a lot of classic robot anime influence in not only Soul Crest, but of course a lot of the stuff we do. <laughs> Ah, that I didn't know. So when you use the formation attacks, you get more soul medals than normal, than with, if you just kill them with regular shots. I did not know that. When you fill up the soul gauge completely, it restarts. Mm. Yeah, actually, I've since, of course, I've played through. The stages do get more difficult as you keep going. The stage one that we've seen pretty much most of the trailers and streams. Obviously, it's the first stage, so it's not going to be that crazy. But in addition to the number of ships, there's you know devices, gimmicks. Kazuya loves the UI. I actually do like this UI. I think it's, it's uh, set up pretty well for the kind of game it is. Add a little bit of that Neo feel to the classic in the center. <laughs> yeah, see, that then we're noticing. <laughs> no. Yeah, so there's a button you can hit that splits the ships apart, and then you manually rearrange them in the shape. And the window is fairly, uh, fairly loose. Yeah, I know Mooncrest and Terracrest are both on Arcade Archives, so if you have uh, a Switch or a PS4, you can rock those. Uh, they were noticing you guys talking about the Wonderliner and being similar to the Wonder Formation. <laughs> So the caravan mode is set for five minutes. There's another score attack mode that is like more like a survival type mode. It's actually, I just noticed this. The soul gauge on the right, when you fill it up once, every time you fill it up, it changes colors and the bonuses change. 
そうするとあの左側のゲージがあのフォーメーション使ったり、はい、あの溜めたチャージレーザー。He's talking about the gauge on the left and talked about it's easier to build up that energy the more times you fill up the soul gauge on the right. Oh, time up. Caravan mode. Total score. That's good. Not bad. Record updates. I got to change that. <laughs> and of course, because it's NEOS 2021, there are online leaderboards for those score tech as well. <laughs> so you're going to see Kamiya in the number one spot. And they're checking out. So this is the achievement list, and each achievement gives you a certain amount of points. Every time you hit a certain amount of points, it unlocks something. You can see in the top right, next reward, hit the points. There's some easy ones, obviously, like looking at the options, <laughs> playing caravan mode for the first time. So as you get more achievements, you can unlock more in-game elements. And of course, the things that are more difficult, get more points. And of course, you can't give away everything. But this is some uh, gameplay. Yes, this is in game. These achievements are in game. So. Yeah, actually, those two icons that are showing, those are two of the characters from dramatic mode. Which I'm sure we will be sharing at some point in the future. <laughs> so she was like, Is that all? He's like, Wait a minute. <laughs> We've got something else to share. One more. Ah, so, of course, vertical shooters, vertical shmups, tategamen. We've got the vertical screen mode in Soul Crest too. Can you show off that? Yes, yes. 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 You have to go to the options. This is display settings at the top. Sorry, this is all in Japanese. First one is display orientation. Right now it's on normal. And you can change it to rotate left or right 90 degrees. You see there's also scan lines, uh, screen with full screen and windows if you're playing on Steam, of course. Back out. And start arcade mode. <laughs> and this is vertical screen mode. So we need to we need to turn the Dell. <laughs> okay. So while they're turning the Dell, and you can see the layout is different. So in vertical mode, you've got the soul gauge across the bottom. And you've got the formation chips and the energy gauge at the top. Replay mode, huh? <laughs> Trust me, this is not intentional. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you've got a nice. Uh, 80s style fade into <laughs> producer talking to us like a and he spun the deal and we're all good. 
And because it is vertical screen mode, the screen space that you don't have in regular mode is opened up a little bit. So you get to see a little bit more of the sides of the shooting area. And you play on Switch. If you were lucky enough to get the OLED. <laughs> Thank you very much for showing that off, Ishimaru. <laughs> so, when you do play in uh, kind of regular mode, you get a lot of that screen taking up information. Vertical mode is a little, little cleaner. Whichever mode suits you the best. <laughs> yeah, just play while you're lying down, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so the reason we put Soul Crest at the title of the stream is because he's got a lot to apologize for. So. <laughs> <laughs> and think about maybe turning the very sorry stream into a platinum game Netflix series. Yes. 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 So is that the end? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Got something. They weren't sure if they wanted to share it, but... Got one more thing to share? Oh, got one more. Okay. I'm going to show one more thing. Just a little bit. We got some preparation to make, apparently. I believe that we are going to show the cabinet. If you saw our last stream, okay. Summer Festival, or if you checked out anything at Bit Summit, you know, we had the, the Vulex, the hardcore. Okay. <laughs> want to show it? We're sure we don't want to show too much of this, whatever it might be. See uh, something on screen that is not the Yamato. <laughs> He's having some trouble. I think if you've seen the arcade archives, you might recognize what's going on. Right on. Uh, we got some shaky cam. Got some music's the same, but sound effects are different. Ducking sail. <laughs> He's too focused on the gameplay. <laughs> 
You might recognize that vessel if you've played some of the previous games in the Crest series. Don't want to say too much, but it's one of the many things that we are working on to make Soul Cresta even better. So again, unfortunately, we had to announce the delay of Soul Cresta's release today, but also hope we were able to show some of the many, many elements that we are working on improving and creating to make the wait worthwhile. One last word from Ms. Kamiya. <laughs> Again, apologizing sincerely for the delay in the release. Of course, we have more stages to show. There's a story mode to show we are working on a lot of stuff. Make sure that we're including the elements that both we want to put in and that should be in, that are essential. So we are asking for a little more time. Mm. Sure, some people planned on staying up all night on Christmas vacation, New Year's plan. He's talking about his, <laughs> his childhood friend when they bought Vogus 2 Shibuzaki. <laughs> it's a childhood memory of swapping games with his old buddy, Vogus 2, and he was judge on Maru. <laughs> And he was really hoping that we could all get that same experience of playing Soul Cresta, maybe swapping it with a childhood friend. <laughs> but he does apologize. And we are serious about hammering out Soul Cresta, making sure that it has everything in it. I apologize again for the delay, but. Again, thank you very much. We appreciate all the warm comments, the understanding. No, about the release date, so everyone's probably concerned about. Unfortunately, we can't really say anything right now, but we do hope to come back at the beginning of the year with the new release date. Again, Thank you for your patience. Just a little bit longer. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He's got one more. <laughs> After that heartfelt closing. Ah. So, maybe you're wondering about the stuffed creature over his shoulder. Okay. So that is uh, Director Takanori Sato's double while he's working hard. 
His spirit lies in the stuff, whatever that is. It might be a mudfish. I don't know. He's got one more thing. So yeah, because Soul Crest is the continuation of the Crest Saga, I want to show the opening movie that we're working on. Now this movie is in Japanese, so I'm going to translate it so you get the heartfelt feeling. <laughs> so I'm going to leave the English audio on. I'm going to do this to the best of my ability. Actually, I already translated it once, but I don't have it with me right now. <laughs> Cosmic Year 101. Humanity faced its greatest threat. That was the Archfiend Mandler who invaded the solar system from the dark depths of the universe. The armies of man conquered planet after planet, built a base on the surface of the moon, and began their invasion of the Earth. Uh, humanity <laughs> united, constructed the multi-docking battle rocket CR-47, formed the organization Moon Cresta to take back the moon and fight against the evil. But their efforts were for nothing, and Mandler's power of void nearly decimated humanity, destroying their hopes, and the Earth fell into the clutches of the demon god. Uh, losing the surface of the Earth, they escaped to undersea bases, twiddling their thumbs as the demon raged on the surface. With the little bit of military might they had left, they formed the Earth Recovery Squad Terra Cresta, and from their undersea bases launched the Wing Galibur to strike back at Mandler. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, the battle was fierce and went back and forth endlessly. For a time, they overcame the armies of Mandler, but the power void was too much. Mandler was reborn, leading the Zophar organization. Again, humanity was forced to flee with the invading armies at their heels. Humanity was, again, nearly decimated. <laughs> and now, Zophar, turning into Mega Zophar, took over the sun and humanity hid like rats on Laomedia, the twelfth moon of Neptune. Their fates, now a candle in the wind, they formed the organization Solar Cresta, and with the cutting edge ship Yamato, made their last ditch efforts. And now, the clutches of Megazofa reach for you! This is not me. <laughs> Yamado. So again, thanks everyone for checking out the stream. Uh, yeah, again, sorry about the delay. Of course, apologize many, many times, but we are working very hard to make sure that Soul Cresta is the game. Uh, yeah, and anytime you have a stream, then please always let me know if the audio is good or bad or whatever, if you need anything, and hope to see you again soon. And thanks everyone. Have a good evening. Enjoy your, I guess it's Tuesday evening over there. <laughs> and see you next time.